Yes, guys. Welcome to God Sense TV. And uh, today we are live and we're going to talk something really, really amazing. We just thank God that God is giving us an opportunity. And today you might be seeing something new. And uh, we are working hard and we're going, to, we're going to come on plenty of Facebook lives in coming days. And it's going to be very, very amazing. It's all about Jesus Christ. And I want you to take a moment share with somebody this broadcast right now. Because we're going to talk about something really amazing. Never give up. Because, because Daddy loves us so much. That he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes shall not be perished, but have an everlasting life. So we are in the everlasting. We, we have to, we got to believe. Because daddy God loves us so much. That was John chapter 2 verse 16 says, he loves us so much. He loves us unconditionally. That he gave his only begotten son. So I wanted to take a moment, you know, and share this broadcast with the people. This Facebook live, this YouTube thing. Share with them. Great things are coming ahead of you. Because you got to believe, you know, if you are forgiving up right now and seeing a tiny situations of your life and thinking, okay, nothing is going to change over your life. I will tell you, God has an amazing plan for you because he loves you so much and he loves you madly, badly. That's why if, 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 if you want to find a crazy lover, I want you to go to Jesus and see how much he loves you, how much he cares for you. Because he is only the way, the truth, and the life. That's what the Bible tells us. So if you're going to a situation like this, and you're thinking you're going to give up in your life, and nothing is going to come out, no, nothing is going to be accomplished, I want to tell you, God is with you. The Bible talks about when God is with us, then who shall be against us? So you've got to trust the word of God. That's a very, very important thing. You've got to trust in the living word of God. Because, because if, you, if, you, if you want to have a gut of never giving up. I want to tell you, I go to a lot of things in my life. I, as an evangelist, as been a man of God, I go to a lot of stuff in my life. I see things going up and down and you know, sometimes, and, and the gossip and all the stuff, the controversy. Remember, these things cannot stop what God has for you. So you are just giving up because looking at these things and thinking, okay, okay, uh, uh, these things are not coming up, you know. Uh, these things are just coming to hand to me and you're just giving up because of these tiny things I will tell you and that's what the, the Bible is talking in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 that I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me so what do you want to give up when Christ is your strength and he gives you strength to do all things now this you bear, you, you're, you're giving a reason I want to give up man of God pastor I want to there was, a, there was a time I was preaching and there was a woman came to me and said to me pastor I want to give up I want to give up in my life because because I see the water is passing from my head and I cannot control it no you got to do nothing with that you got to trust the Lord you got to just put your focus on the word of God you got to put a focus on the cross of Calvary that Jesus died 2000 years back for you to have what to give up not to never give up he never give up on you so you are already to give up. What, what is the reason? I want, I want to go and uh, see uh, Psalm chapter 28, verse 7. It says, The Lord is my strength and my shield. The Lord is my strength. Then why you want to give up? I want you to take a moment. Focus on the word of God. Go up in the word of God. The Lord is my shepherd. You know, the Bible talk about, I shall want nothing. So the Lord is a shepherd. I shall want nothing. I shall lack nothing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I want you to take a moment, encourage yourself through word of God. That's what the Bible says, the Lord is my strength. And what? My shield, my heart trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoice. With my song, I will praise him. Hallelujah. Trust the Lord because he is your strength. He is my strength. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. No matter what happened, God is always with us. God is never giving up on us. He is, he, even He wants you, come to me and I will give you the rest. All the bondages, all the, all the people of, of bondages. If you have any bondage right now and you're thinking this sickness is going to kill you, I want to tell you, come to Jesus right now. Because Jesus is only the way, the truth and the life. Hallelujah. If you, if you, if you give up, you will never experience the miracle of God in your life. So I want you to take a moment. Look at my, uh, look at this thing. But focus on a word of God. Hallelujah. Do you know why?
Miracles happen. They have always been happening since the dawn of time. Our Lord God makes such miracles because God loves us. From the universe to what we know today and will know, He created many things to share the love He has. Hi, this is Boob Ayub Story. He's an evangelist who does missionary works and share the words of God. Today, I am going to share some parts of his life that greatly test for what God is and what his powers can do. He grew up in a Christian family. Their values and how they live are based from faith and they always follow what the Bible says. Their family consists of his father, mother, grandparents, aunt, and the Ob. They all live together. Going back to when he was only a one-year-old, he had always been considered cute, just like the other babies of his age, of course. All was normal, he was a healthy baby. But one day, when no one was watching over him, some random girl gave him mud to eat. This caused him to cry a lot in which his cousin gave him hot milk. After drinking hot milk, worms started to come out from his ears, mouth, and nose. His family rushed him to the hospital wherein the doctor said, This case is very fatal for a baby. He may not live very long. When his family got the news from the doctor, they couldn't believe it. From a healthy baby to now sick and has his life on the line. They begged the hospital for more solutions, but it was futile. But his family never gave up. They went home, and the first thing they all did was pray. They put their trust in the Lord, never gave up to that hope of maybe he will be cured. They started fasting and the never-ending prayers filled their days. The deadline the doctor gave them soon passed. He's alive! Days passed on, he was cured. The Lord had healed him. And so, to what he, the Lord God, had always been blessing him. After everything that had happened, the womb's grandmother prophesied that someday, he will become successful and travel all around the world. This was not the first time God blessed them upon this mortal world. God blessed them with privilege back in their country. Daoub's father is a bishop, and because of that, they were fortunate enough to have their eyes open of his love. Year 2016 came and a friend of his from the Philippines visited. They were close, just like brothers from another mother, with God being their father. He invited the Ub over to the Philippines and he obliged. Since then, the Ub went and served the Lord some more. He began doing some ministry works and sharing God's words became his life. He made a YouTube channel to reach more audience and began to hold conferences around the country. The Ub stayed in the Philippines for a very long time. The year 2017 came and there was a dengue outbreak. For those of you who don't know, it's a plague-like virus that comes from mosquitoes. This usually happened during the summer. The Oob was unfortunate enough to catch the said virus. Rushed to Dr. Jesus Delgado Hospital, the doctor had detected that he had a low platelet count. This virus is very fatal especially when you reach the stage 4. A lot of people die from this virus every summer. 117,654 dengue cases, including 657 deaths, were reported nationwide from the 1st of January to the 4th of November 2017. He was soon to be part of that 657 because, you guessed it, he was at stage 4. Not a lot of people survive this stage. Most die with just having stage 2. His faith was tested once again, but never did he waver. They offered him to admit to the hospital, but he refused. Remembering what had happened to him as a baby, the Oob had put his faith in the Lord once again. He went home that day and prayed. 
It was not until three in the morning that pain surrounded his body. He was rushed at St. Luke's Medical Hospital and was immediately admitted. His health went downhill. One night, while Daub was alone in his room praying, he asked of the Lord, Lord, please remember me. Remember my services and I put my life on your hands. Life is really going to test you once in a while, but God never fails. Daub started to notice how he was getting better. From rock bottom, his health kept on going straight up. His prayers never stopped. Even if he was already getting better. Days passed, then Daub got released from the hospital just in time to celebrate his birthday. He was greeted by his friends here in the Philippines and they celebrated a lot. He also went back to Pakistan to celebrate with his family. Life is good. Daub is now currently 22 years old. He still does missionary works. Life went on for him. Still alive, still healthy, still blessed by our Lord God. These are just mere examples of what God can do for us. The Ub's life got threatened two times, but he never stopped trusting the Lord. Those were not the only challenges he encountered. Maybe we'll share some next time. No matter what happens, God is watching you because he loves you. Yes, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching Drama Life. It was, uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy it, I want you to share this with your friends. It's, it's going to be inspiring. And I am, my life is just inspiring. God did a lot for me. And I just want to thank um, God, my family, and my, my all of you people watching me right now. Just keep standing with this Dao to you. And a lot more is coming on God Stands TV. So if, give up your valuable comments. And thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to God Stands TV. And it took us hours and hours. It's a hard work. So you're going to see the hard work people also with me. Yes, guys, welcome back, and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. That's my life testimony. I never give up, you know. God never give up on me. Let me say this. And I, I, was, I was not able to give up, too. Because God loves me so much, and I know that. He loves me so much that He died on the cross of Calvary. So I, I got to trust the Word of God. I got to trust God. And I never, never stop trusting God. Remember this. Never stop trusting God. And I hope you enjoy this. You got to learn something from that video. That's my life testimony. We'll be bringing a lot more of what, 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 what's coming in my life, what's happening in my life. But I want to say, never, never give up. Never, never give up. Because God is always available for you. So you got to be available for God. Now, now that's, that's, you might be saying, how, how I can be available for God? You know, now, when the situation is there, when the sickness is there, when the poverty is overcoming you, when the sickness, the, 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 the cancer, the, 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 all, the, all the situations are overcoming you, remember this thing. You can only find the rest in Christ Jesus. You got to trust the Lord and see things happening. Hallelujah. You got you to trust the Lord and see things happening. If you think, okay, it's never going to happen. I'm never going to accomplish my dream. I'm never going to be uh, seeing myself prosper. I'm going to see myself healing. That's what you think. And that's what the devil wants you to think. But God wants you to see as his son that died on the cross of Calvary. So you may have an eternal life. That was a, that was a John 10 10 talk about. The devil come to steal, to kill, to destroy. But Jesus come to give an abundance in life. So be the part of that abundance by putting your trust in the word of God. Putting your focus on the cross of Calvary that Jesus died 2,000 years back. Hallelujah. I put, I was dying on a cancer. I put my trust on the Lord. I don't give up. Even the, even the doctor says to me, you can die any moment. But I put my focus on the word of God. I put my focus because I know somebody died for me already on the cross of Calvary. And not only died, got buried, but not only got buried, but rose up after the third day and lived inside of me and you. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible says. We are no longer who will live, but the Christ live inside of us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to say this. You know, you got to trust the Lord. 
in, in all the circumstances, it's all, 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 all. You know, I, I, there's, there's a time come in my life that, um, that I just feel, okay, I got I to gotta, I gotta quit. Uh, I got to quit this and I got to quit that. And there was situations comes in my life too. But I get reminding myself I am a child of most high God. Daddy loves me madly, badly. You have to remind yourself in the love of Christ. Because only the, His love is unconditional. And remember, God is a God of keeping coming. And God. God is not a God that speaks and forget. For God is not a man that will lie. He is not a human that will speak lie. He is a God. He is a supernatural God. And you are the child of supernatural God. And how you can think to forgive up. I, I, I want to give up, I want to give up, I want to give up. Somebody, uh, there was a woman came to me and said, Pastor, you know, my, my husband, my husband, our marriage is not working out. I want to, I want to give up, I want to quit, I want to divorce, I want to break up on that. And you know what? I say, did Jesus quit on you while you were a sinner? He died for you. So you gotta, you know, if you're going and having a marriages problem right now, I'm talking to you this moment, I'm talking live to you right now, that... Never give up on the word of God because that's a covenant God has bind between you and men, men and women. So, so you got to trust your marriage on the word of God. You got to put your marriage on the word of God. Take a moment, husband, wife, I'm talking to you. Take a moment, grow yourself in the word of God. Sit together, read Bible. That's all. Then never give up spirit begin to happen. Because when you grow yourself in the word of God, when you put the prayer time, you pray to God, you, you read Bible. That's how you, you got a spirit of never give up. I got a spirit of never give up while, while being on a dengue. And I was on a last, last stage and I was, dying of, uh, I was dying on a dengue. And you know what happened? I never give up. I was putting my trust. I said, Lord, remember me. Lord, remember me. Remember me. And Lord is so faithful. He always remembers us. Remember. He always remembers us. He is looking at your situation right now. You might be thinking, God is not looking at my situation. My situation is not going to be changed. I'm never going to come out from the poverty. I'm, seek, I'm speaking in the name of Jesus to you. You are coming out from the poverty because Jesus become poor, so you may become rich. Hallelujah. You might be thinking, I'm never going to come out from the cancer. I'm never going to come out from a sickness, diseases, AIDS, and all the stuff. I'm, I'm telling you. He took all your sickness on the cross of Calvary. And you are, you are living a life today. You got to believe. Because the Bible says believing is receiving. You gotta believe and receive. That's the money. Because God is so good. Hallelujah. He is good all the time. All the time. God is good. Praise the Lord. I want I want to take a moment and uh, watch this video. And uh, we are coming back right after the break. Truly, that our God is a faithful. Remember this to His promises. So do not quit. Never give up. God is with you.
when the ocean rise, you know. The Lord is faithful. Remember, the Lord is faithful. He is faithful God. And I want to take a moment right now, talking to the people right now, who's those who are watching me, that God is overseeing your problems right now because we serve an overcomer God. We don't serve an a beggar. We serve an a king. I got a, I got a words right now. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got a words right now. I'm talking to somebody right now, this moment. The God is changing your situation. God is changing your situation. You're, you're coming from zero to hero. Something great is coming to your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you, as, as you have just put into your, into your heart, that my God is faithful. I gotta trust my God. As you put in this moment of trusting the Lord, I tell you, this is not gonna be vanished. This is never gonna be down. God is keeping you. God is keeping you. God is making everything possible for you. Because there is a power. In the name of Jesus Christ. So when you begin to see, you know, as, as you just see this, uh, this video, you know, this video, you see this. God is faithful. God is faithful. So you want to you wanna give up because of what? I want a reason for that. Why I'm talking too much about this? Because this is the end times and we got we to gotta focus on the word of, word of God. We got to focus on the living God. We got to, we got to, we got we to gotta put a focus. We got to put eyes to God. Something great is coming in the name of Jesus. Begin to receive. Begin to receive as you put your trust in the Lord. I speak the good news to your families to come right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, somebody might be watching and you're thinking, okay, I, I, I better suicide. I better die. I better, I better, I have nothing to do in life. Why? You got to live for your parents. You got to live for your family. You got to live for yourself. You don't want to live for your parents, for your family, for yourself. Live it for God. That who lives for you. I want to. I want. I want to take a moment like that, you know. And if 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 you're really truly broken, I have my book, uh, my first book. That name was I'm broken. No mess. No message. You can go get it on Amazon. If not, you, you you're not able to get it from Amazon. Just give us an inbox. We'll give you for free in the name of Jesus because we love sewing. So remember this thing. Why you broken? Why you why you want to suicide? Why you want to give up? Because of the situation. It's getting better. With the time you begin to grow yourself in the word of God, it's begin to come better. Word of God has a power to move the mountains. And that becomes your faith. And faith can move the mountains, the Bible is talking about. So if you talk by faith, you can own the things. And this, that's what the Bible says, God gives you the power. The power in your words. So what you have in your mouth is power. What you speak, the power comes up. You speak negative, the negative come out. You speak positive, the positive come out. It's your choice. I'm talking to you right now. Make a deal right now. You got to speak negative, negative will come out. You got a power in your mouth. If you speak positive, you got to say, okay, my situation is changing in the name of Jesus. You begin to declare it. It's changing. I see you from coming from poverty out to something. I see you from sickness to healing. I see you to zero to heal. I see you from nothing to something. It's happening. The time you begin to speak, the time you begin to speak, the time you begin to trust. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is faithful, my dear. God is faithful. I want, I, want, I want to read from the Bible right now. I want to read this thing. It's just coming up to me. and I want, I want to read it. It's just coming up to me. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5 to 6 says, Keep your lives free from the love of money. Now, the love of money. Having money is not a problem. But the love of money is a problem. Being rich is not a problem. Okay, now. Be content with what you have. Be faithful what you have. You got to be faithful what God has given you. You got to be focused what God has given you. If you are faithful what God has given you in little, in big. Uh, come on somebody. I'm talking to somebody. You're receiving right now. Because God said, God has said this. I will never leave you. Ah, uh, what amazing God we have. Never will forsake you. So we... So we can say with the confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will be not afraid. The Lord is my helper. Speak somebody. The Lord is my helper. Begin to, begin to, if, you, if you're sharing this video, share. Say, the Lord is my helper. Share, the Lord is my helper. Begin to speak, the Lord is my helper. You got to speak it out. Because when you speak, come to pass. You got to trust the Lord. You got to put your focus on the Lord. That's a very, very important thing. Because the Lord is not leaving us. And that's what the uh, Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 8 says. The Lord himself goes before you. Let's make it personal. The Lord himself goes before me. And will be with me. 
and he will never leave me or seek me. Do not be afraid. Thou the you. Begin to put your name. Do not be discouraged. The Lord is with you. Hallelujah. You should be having a reason. Okay, I, I want to give up. Because, hey, look, look, go, go grow yourself in the word of God. I'm speaking to somebody right now. As you're taking this moment to put your concentrate on the word of God. You will receive the goodness in the name of Jesus. There is a power in the name of Jesus the Bible is talking about. The power to break every chain. I speak from that power right now. The chains of poverty be break in the name of Jesus Christ. The chains of sickness be break in the name of Jesus Christ. The chains of, the chains of putting you to societal thoughts break in the name of Jesus Christ. Because we serve an, a God of angel army and the angel protection is around us. We serve an, a God who is exhuming fire. We serve an, a God who is yesterday, today, forever the same. We serve an, a God who is a living God, who is living with his yes and amen promises, who says, come to me and I will make a way for you. Who make a way for the Moses, he got to make a way for you. Who make a way for the, for the Abraham, he got to make a way for you because God is faithful. Forever and ever and ever. Hallelujah. You got to begin to trust the Lord. You begin to, you know, no matter what the situation of the country is going on, cannot, cannot, cannot put you down. No matter what the situation of the house is going down, cannot put you down because God is with you. Hallelujah. And He is for you. And He will fight for you. Remember, that's, that's how much God loves us. You're going through a life right now? I don't, I don't know what you're going through. But you might be thinking, Okay, this, this evangelist is talking too much. Yeah, because I serve a too much God. I serve a too much God. In, in Philippines, it says, I serve a sober God. Sober, sober means too much God. I serve a sober Maganda God. <laughs> I serve a too much beautiful God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We serve a beautiful God. His name is a beautiful, powerful, wonderful name. You got to trust. You got to focus. Nothing can change what God has for you. All you have to do is to take a one step of it. And God is there to take a 99 step for you. God is there to take a 99 step for you. Are you, are you, are you, are you listening to what I'm saying today? God is there to, to take a 99 step for you. God has an amazing plan for you. God has a plan. That's what Jeremiah 29 11 says. For I, I know the plans I have for you. Plan to prosper you, not to harm you. Plan to give you the good, great future, great hope and future. Is there in the name of Jesus? Begin to receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Because I'm, I'm looking, somebody is in the need. Begin to share this with somebody. Somebody needs to know this, you know. Live by word of God. We live, we live by faith, not by sight. Remember, we live by faith, not by sight. Hallelujah. We live by faith. I want, I want you to take this Bible verse right now. If you're watching in this moment, I want you to take this Bible verse and begin to, begin to trust the Lord. Begin to trust the Lord. Because there is nothing that He cannot do. So why are you worried? I want you to, after this break, we're coming back. And remember, for more encouragement videos, uh, for messages, watch this video. This is my ministry video. You're going you're gonna to see how God is doing. And after this, I'm going to pray for you guys. So don't forget to watch this. Okay. This was totally broken. But today, one she came old. to... One year old. One year old. Wow. She can speak English today. One year old. But now she, she says, I can feel I'm this already crying already in the name of Jesus. One year broken. Bonds are coming together. I am Jesus. very happy that you
Yes, yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is it. Never quit because God loves you. Did you see those miracles happening, crippled walking, deaf hearing, mute speaking, where things coming up? God is doing something in your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Celebrate somebody's testimony and your testimony is coming on a way in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, I hope you enjoy that. I want you to take a moment and... Uh, if you have a prayer request, write down your prayer request. We're going to pray for you. And um, I'm going to pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit that try to put you down, I speak the fire of Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak the healing, the cancer go out, the losses, the breast cancer in the name of Jesus, the AIDS, the every sickness that tries to put you down. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come from the almighty power. As David came and says, I come with almighty power and put down the Goliath. I come and put the giant of sickness down in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to receive your healing. I speak the healing. By the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. Completely deliver. Completely heal. Receive. Receive. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. I speak the love, peace, unity in your family. I, I, I see some fam broken families. I speak the love, peace, unity in the family. I see the family, you, love, peace, unity coming. You and your whole house will serve the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to receive. Begin to receive. Begin to receive. There's a power in the name of Jesus Christ. There's a power. Begin to receive. Begin to receive. Touch your screens. Begin to receive right now. Begin to receive in the name of Jesus Christ. God has an amazing plan, my dear. Every sickness, every illness, every disease, every broken thing, every spirit that tries to put you down, I speak the fire of the Holy Ghost. I speak complete healing in the name of Jesus. Deliver, be delivered, be delivered, be delivered, be delivered right now. God is healing you from the cancer. 
Somebody is watching me. God is healing you from this cancer. God is healing you from, you, you know, there is a sickness you have and you cannot tell somebody. God is healing you right now. Begin to receive that healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to receive, begin to receive, begin to receive. Every, every paralyzed attack be out in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak the life. Catch life in the name of Jesus Christ. Every problem catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. As the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, save my life. Healed me. It's going to heal you in the name of Jesus Christ. He's going to give you life right now. Life. I speak life. I speak life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak life. Begin to receive. Begin to receive. I'm two minutes more here. I'm two minutes. Begin to receive. After two minutes, we're closing down. I, I begin to receive. 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 Financially problem, I speak the financially breakthrough right now. Receive your financially breakthrough. Receive your financially breakthrough. Financially breakthrough coming. The money coming. I see the money coming. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are a child of God. You serve a king of king. The Lord of Lord. I see the breakthrough coming into your family. I see the breakthrough coming into your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You shall lack nothing for the Lord is a shepherd in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is a shepherd. The Lord is a shepherd. Begin to receive, receive, receive the breakthrough. Financially breakthrough. Financially. Somebody is in the strongly need of this breakthrough. I'm seeing it. It's happening right now. Begin to receive. Begin to receive. Next 24 hours, you are getting your financially breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. I'll give you the surety of that. You're going to give a testimony about it. Next 24 hours, the breakthrough is coming. The healing is coming. The healing is coming. Healing is coming. Begin to receive. Begin to receive. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the strong Son of God, we pray and say amen and amen and amen. I want to say thank you guys for watching this broadcast. If you like it, share with your friends. Do like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe our channel on YouTube, God Stand Still. A lot more is coming. This broadcast will be also uploaded there. So watch us there. Your doubt. Love you. Blessings.